If you'd like to see me testing out Juvia's Place brand new blush collection then stay tuned. Hi welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be looking at the blush, the new blush collection from Juvia's Place and here I have, so I've got the, what's this, this is called Blushed Rougie, I'm, I'm assuming that says Rougie and this is the volume one that's the volume one normally I would have bought both colors but because well essentially because the other one just looks hella light I just skipped it okay so cool that is it in the packaging and these come with mirrors so yeah I'm blinding you but just wanted to show you that there is a mirror in there and that is the palette itself and the colors are gorgeous I love this kind of corally kind of burnt orange shade and this shade here really really nice shades and this is 14 pounds as you can see I actually bought this in a set so okay here's the thing the bronzers came out so I bought two bronzers I bought the tan and then I bought the deep or the dark and in a second like two days later or a day later the blush comes out so then obviously I'm irritated firstly because when the blushes came out they were now doing them in like a bulk so you can get two for a reduced cost so that was a bit annoying and secondly now I'm paying for a second set of delivery costs which was a bit annoying but you know what because of this for my channel I would do it and also because you know I like everything cheapest place I did use code Angelica so I did buy this I did get the palette which is here I did get the palette and I did get the deep dark bronzer as well which I'm thinking in my head that I might use as a contour it seems kind of cool funny thing is I made the bronzer order on Tuesday and it's arriving on Monday Bear in mind I pay for expedite shipping but whatever and I made this blush order I think it was on Wednesday or Thursday and that arrives on Friday like that came in two days to the UK so anyway so this is the palette it's called the blushed rose and that's what she looks like and this is what she looks like on the inside that's how she looks this retails for $14 and this was $18 but because I bought them in the bundle so obviously I paid whatever for that but because I bought this in another bundle I think I paid $20, $27 I want to say $27 for this and the and the deep bronzer and I'm going to do a separate video on all the bronzers the whole well the collection that I bought so the palettes three of the bronzer shades and I've also bought a lip liner as well but I just thought I'd show you what I got so yeah let's get started so I've prepped my face. Today in homage to Juvia's Place, I'm wearing the um, foundation, the magic foundation. I've put on very little, so as you can see it's not too thick, because it is full coverage. And then I think what we're going to go in first with, we're going to go in first with the eyeshadow palette. Now again, I said, as I said before, these are what the shades look like. You've got this peach kind of pink champagne shimmer here. You've got this pink tone here, this kind of blush pink tone here. You've got a richer kind of almost burnt peachy shade here you've got your flush of pink here and then you've got your deepening shade here this shimmer here it's giving me yeah so it's giving me kind of a uh, burnt orange but I'm seeing I'm feeling hints of kind of a pink inflect coming through as well it's quite a nice shade yeah so let's get started let's get that straight on the eyes so we're gonna get nice and close okay so first I'm gonna go in with this kind of hot pink shade and I'm going to put her on my brush, get nice and close. I'm just going to put her all over the lid. Now one thing I'm noticing straight off the back, and um, I started doing this side, then I realised actually I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I went off camera, did the other eye, and then I came back. So one thing I have noticed, because I have obviously used this already, if you see already, the colours are nice, but it's not super duper pigmented like I have to pack them on and I don't think it's to do with it not being the skin stage because I can build it I just don't think it's extra extra pigmented which is unusual for um, Juvia's Place so I'm just going to pack that all over yeah it's quite unusual for Juvia's Place because normally the colours pack a punch now for me personally it made it easier to blend to the intensity that I wanted it to and it blends lovely it just needs layering okay 
So next I'm going to go in with the deeper shade, deepest shade I should say, which is this one here. And I'm going to just keep it low and kind of go back and forth. So I'm not sure if you can see what I'm talking about. It takes a little bit of effort to get this. So for now I'm going to pat it on. So what I'm noticing with this is when I did the other eye, it was easier if I patted it first into place and then went back and forth with my brush which again as I said is not the normal way with Juvia's place normally you got to kind of go kind of light handed because they are so pigmented but not today apparently okay so I've got that blended how I like it next I'm going to go in with this kind of uh, metallic shade here I'm going to pop that on my brush I'm going to go in uh, dry first but then at some point I will wet my brush so because I did find, I wanted to show you, look at that. I mean, Juvia's place, shimmers never fail, let's be honest. Look at that. I'm just trying to keep that in the middle for now. And take it all the way up to my crease line. Right, next I'm gonna go in with the other shimmer shade, which, try saying that three times, shimmer shade which is this lovely kind of pinky shade there and again I'm going to do the same thing if it needs spraying I'll spray it but we'll see how we get that first go first I'm going to pull it there and pull it in to this one to sort of create a sort of halo and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side here what do I like this side? it's going to go like this I'm going to pull it in on that side as well. Now what would have been really nice is if the palette had a deeper shade then I could have actually like, smoked out the edge a bit giving it a bit more mm. but it's okay. So that's our shimmers laid down. Quite happy with that actually. Okay nice. Right okay for our final shade we're going to go in with the lighter shade which is this pink here and I like I said before, previously I've really been enjoying using um, mattes for the inner corner but well, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all the way up to meet the shimmer so I'm just going to place it like that and bring it all the way up yeah I mean okay apart from that first shade which took a lot of building actually it's a lie and the deeper shade which took a lot of building to get any kind of payoff but then not everybody wants high payoff all the time and considering it's supposed to be like a blush palette maybe it's better that you get to build it up to where you want it to be as opposed to just BAM and then trying to control it okay so I'm happy with that okay I'm going to tidy that up put some concealer on and then we'll get to the blush all right eye looks done now time for blush. Okay, so the Rouge, Blushed Rouge Volume 1 looks like this. And as I said before, it comes with a nice mirror which is reflecting down here. Gorgeous. I thought I'd quickly just show you the Saharan. This is Volume 2. So this is the lighter one. So this is also a blush palette. But it's more, it's a lot fairer. You've got more like, um, it's cooler tone firstly, but then you've got like, apart from this coral, this kind of purpley shade, it's actually quite fair. Let me put them side by side so we can... So that's how they look side by side. So it doesn't feel like we've got any repeats, maybe except for this one and this one looks similar. The only difference is this one appears to be a lot more stronger in colour, which makes sense because I think this one was aimed at fairer tones anyway. And then we've got the Saharan Brush Palette 1, which looks like this, and I can't see a single shade in here that looks the same as this. So it's nice, so I don't mind owning this now, knowing that I've not repeated myself anywhere. And I mean, they're both gorgeous, look at them. Yeah, so I can't wait to play with this one now. So I'm just going to get my lovely blusher brush. Now for today I'm actually going to use this one because I want you to be able to see the pigment. I can share it out later but I want you to be able to see what I'm putting on my face. So let's go in first with this shade here. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put each shade on each cheek and then I will cover with the other one so that um, they're the same. But let's go in with this one first. I'm going to start here. 
Oh shit. <laughs> okay. That was like the lightest tap of life and you see how much payoff there is there. It's beautiful though. Mm. Wow. <laughs> nice though it's beautiful and I'm guessing you can build and build and build on that as well that's really nice my problem with blush is I love blush like to the point where I don't know when to stop sometimes <laughs> but yeah that's beautiful and then slightly bring it down to the front okay okay I'm on my head okay so I'm gonna do the same with the other side I'm just gonna give it a light tap I'm a bit scared turn my face this way I'm just gonna go So that one is a little, a little bit closer to my skin tone, I think, that's what the issue is. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. She's lovely. She's warm. She's tan. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. And I like to bring what's left. So start there and then blend out that way. And then whatever's left, I bring to the ball of my cheek. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at honey bunny. I like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this side. And I'm going to put that over. Look, that's lovely together. That's beautiful together. Oh. I like that a lot. It just adds dimension to the face, doesn't it? From going looking like a boiled egg to now we've got a bit of dimension. And I'm going to take the little pinky colour. I'm going to add that to this side. So that we're even. Mmm, very impressed by this. And I like the fact, like I said, it's got a mirror. It's quite compact. So when we're travelling again, because I will be travelling, it's... Oh, that's beautiful. I'm really happy that and it blends so easily. Mm. Okay, let me finish my rest of my face and then we will get the roundup of everything. So this is the final look. I love that blush. The blush is gorgeous. Let's get to it. The blush. I love it. This blush is so nice. I like them separately. I like them layered. I really love like orangey toned blushes anyway. So this works for me. I like how pigmented they are. I mean, do go easy. And you know what? $14. Less 10% if you use one of those codes. And Jiva Place is always doing like offers anyway. So this is just nice. This whole aesthetic. I like it. This is good. I, I like this a lot. This I can see myself using. I've got a lot of blushes. So this I can see myself using. Yeah. A1, 10 out of 10. Now to the palette. Okay, now I know a lot of people like on Trend Mood and things like that were saying that they weren't overly enamoured of the palette. Now, thoughts. I love like kind of blush tones and pinks and mauves and purples and, I, and reds. I love those kind of tones. I like them rich. I like them soft. I like them a lot. So I love this palette. I think it's beautiful. I think it's easy to use. I think if you're fairer tones, I think if you're fairer than me, this is going to be a dream. I think you can make a lot of looks with this. I think if you're deeper than me, you're going to need another palette. I mean, it's beautiful. Do you know what? I can actually see myself using these two shades and kind of doing a smoke, but it does need like that darkening shade. It needs like a black or deep, 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 deep berry tone just to give it that gradient that you need. But I'm, like I've always said, I'm not adverse to using more than one palette to create looks anyway. It's, that's, that's my aesthetic, I don't mind. So for $14, that's pretty good. And I'm pretty, do you know, I could be wrong. Let me just double check because I'm pretty sure the blush is actually cheaper than the bronzer. I think it's like, I think the blush is $14 as well. Okay, so the blush pal palette is $15. The eyeshadow palette was $14. Together, the bundle is $27. So if you want to get both shades of this or this and the bronzers, then that's a bundle of $27. And if you wanted to get this and the palette that comes in the bronze collection, that's $21. So that's not that's not bad. And then you can still use the 10% off coupons on that as well. So that's why I'm a bit annoyed that they didn't come out the same day. Like, they really seem like a day between them or something stupid like that. No, it's probably like three or four days, but what happened is the palette went out of stock, so I waited until the palette came back in stock before I bought the bronze collection. And then the day after that, they released the blush collection. So it was like, I've just paid nearly $50 worth of shipping. 
because I wanted to expedite it as well so luckily for them I don't care but it was a bit annoying but yeah back to the palette this is gorgeous now I've pulled a few more of my other Juvia's Place palettes just for a quick comparison and I don't some of the colours have been repeated but the overall themes haven't if that makes any sense so this is the berries one side by side these two these two palettes would go beautifully together like as in complementary kind of palettes but to be fair I'm not seeing massive crossover in that one this is the mauves and there is slight crossover so this tone here and this tone here are similar these two uh, are similar I just gouged it <laughs> I have uh, this tone here and this tone here have they're similar of the undertones are different so they're different enough that you can still get these two and it's got that lovely deepening shade as well so if you want to use that shade to deepen up this that would work as well and um, also none of the shimmers so far have appeared the same this is the violets I can see literally no crossover here none so we can skip that so yes basically I'm telling you I'm just I'm almost talking myself into it saying yeah it's alright to have it because you know they're not the same they're not the same and then this is the last one this is the pink sweet pinks one of my favorites there are a little bit similar thing is they're not the same but they're similar if that makes any sense but again this is this is a pink this is blush tones for sure so you could again have both of these they're different enough that it's okay um, and I'm looking at the shimmers again completely different they've got you know what I'm impressed they've done a good job They're, every palette is different enough that it warrants purchasing the last one I wanted to have a look at was the Melissa palette which is a quad I'm not gonna bother with the larger palettes because I just it's not worth it we'd be all day as well and that's the Melissa in this one and this is a press glitter the shimmers are different the tones are different yeah I'm impressed by that I'm really impressed by that Hmm. And now that I'm seeing them all side by side, they're all they're all quite distinctly different. I'm quite happy with that. You know, sometimes when you buy things and you're like, you tell yourself they're different, and you never look at them side by side, but you tell yourself they're different, knowing full well they're probably similar. But seeing all those side by side, I'm like, yes, I can have each and every one, and they're different. <laughs> so that's just me being crazy. But yeah great collection really happy with the blush ones I didn't buy any of the lipsticks or anything for that particular collection because yeah, my interest is always gonna be palettes bronzers blushes that kind of thing but yeah love those I'm really really happy with my purchase I'm so glad I dove in so that's Juvia's Place new blushed collection very very happy with those 10 out of 10 as per usual great price great quality Juvia's came this saw if you enjoyed my video please like please subscribe please share if you care and i will see you in the next one looky looky sucky sucky oh as well i'm not sure if it's still going on but if you buy these a uh, purchase over 60 dollars you get one of these shimmers the heroin glow and because i made two orders i've got two coming so when i hit 500 subscribers i'm doing to do a massive giveaway and i'm just going to chuck one of these in there because now I got two and I don't need two. Who needs two? I'm not going to give you them. <laughs> so as I said, please like, please share if you care. And I'll see you in the next one.